So this is probably the question that many of you guys might have in your minds. Capitano going to be a playable character in Genshin Impact? That's for, just, just put it on the table, he's probably going to be one of the most hyped characters in the game. It's just, I'm very excited for him. I'm pretty sure everybody else is. He's one of the coolest Harbingers. He just outright looks the greatest. Has this cool, cool animation within the 5.0 live stream and the 5.0 trailer that I just, I couldn't stop watching. He is just so cool. And I bet many of you guys feel the same way about him and are thinking, hey, um, when exactly can I get my hands on this character? I don't blame you because he, he's just too cool. He does seem to be a cryo sword user from what we've seen from the 5.0 live stream. He has, he summons a sword straight from his hand and then attacks with it. I think that's pretty cool. I don't believe we've seen a cryo vision. Um, I, we might have, I just, I just don't recall, but he just looks absolutely amazing. Cryo sword. Um, we already have Ayaka cryo sword. Another one would be so so sick. Just imagine a DPS character, or even a sub DPS. That'd be even great. A DPS character going absolutely insane on the field, and I don't know. I just something about that just rings the bell. Perfect. He's going to be one of the most hyped characters. That is for sure. He's like the second Harbinger. Oh no, he's probably the he, he's the first Harbinger. That's what I think. And he just looks absolutely cool. The number one Harbinger going head to head with Mafuika it is going to be insane so going back to the question is he going to be playable personally if I had to make a guess I think he is not going to be playable during the 5.0 pad now you'll be like okay well sure 5.3 5.4 no I don't think he's going to be playable from the Natlan patch at all now I do have a reason for this. I have a theory on what would happen in Genshin's Natlan region bonanza story. Okay, I feel like Traveler is going to do this tournament thing. Um, Mavuika is going to battle. Uh, Capitano is going to have this whole shebang, and then us, the Traveler, at the very end, we're going to be the ones that dispel Capitano from Natlan. That's what I think. And because of that, um, the, the Capitano will be like, "Yo, I'm not gonna be here anymore. I'm just gonna leave." And that is why we might not get to see him because we don't really get the end of the storyline for Capitano, which is going to be a pretty interesting thing if that is to be the case. Again, this is all speculation. I'm trying to make a, a guess. Now, in the best or the most um, ideal world, we would get him in a patch like 4.4 or 5.4 rather and 5.5, something around there, straight down the middle agreed to have him as a character bring the players back you know i know genshin impact has been making an effort to bring the players back so if you want them to bring you know, if you want them back this is how you do it the most strategical move so i feel like genshin impact is going to be hey this is going to be the moment where all the it's dry right dry season the natalin story finished we're at this is what's happening after this is the best moment to release a very very hype character which is going to bring back the player base and have people play more regularly to try to get this character. That is the most ideal world because that is what people, oh, that's what Hoyoverse would do if they want the most, the best outcome, right? Play devil's advocate here and say if he does release during 5.4, 5.5, that would be just absolutely perfect. He'd be such a cool character. Imagine an Arlecchino DPS cryo sword goes absolutely insane. I feel like he'd definitely be a very, very cool character to play with, especially since all the Harbingers have been cool. Tartaglia has two stances. He has a stance with um, dual blades, and then he has a bow stance, which is pretty cool. He has two bursts. It's his own thing. Nobody, nobody else has two bursts. Wanderer, he can fly. <laughs> he can literally fly, um, which is definitely a cool thing. Um, Orlochino has the bond of life thing. Doesn't say an amount of damage. Just it goes to show that these harbingers are no joke and they're just absolutely cool i do think that we should be getting more harbingers more often and that's why i want to say hey they could be playable and that'd be cool but that's just playing devil's end and what i think and this is the to answer the question at the very beginning of the video i asked is he going to be playable i personally don't think he's going to be playable 
for the very near foreseeable future. So the 5.0 patch is, I don't think so. Maybe somewhere in 6.0, 6.0, that's where he'll be at. This is just a big maybe, right? They probably dust him or something like that, like they did with um, the Crimson Witch of Flames. Um, actually, I did kind of forget her name now. Interesting thing off. Anyways, that's going to be it for my video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Um, let me know what you guys think. Is Capitano going to be a playable character or not? Alright, that's going to be it. See you guys in the next one very soon. Goodbye.